youth runner here at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational, beautiful Golden Gate Park, uh, and what a awesome performance in our first girls varsity race from Archie Williams staying out on his steeg, 16.44.7, uh, only two women uh, under under 17, uh, of course measuring about uh, 2.78. Uh, uh, Ani, obviously, uh, there, uh, there was that group uh, early, you know, as, as you went, you know, uh, away from the, uh, the finish, uh, but you just stayed so composed. Uh, how proud were you of just kind of really, you know, running your race and, uh, and not having, you know, Aria or anybody else kind of dictate the pace for you? I was really happy with that because I wasn't expecting to lead, but I kind of went out fast and sometimes the plan just shifts right. during the race. And so I just went with it. I was in the lead and I'm like, well, I'm not going to slow down now. So I just tried to keep it and it worked out in my favor. So I feel really happy. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, th uh, this is always a really special uh, invitational you know uh, for athletes in the north coast section the san francisco section and then especially when you get weather like today yeah. right because everybody in the southern half of the state would uh, would probably be donating an organ yeah. uh, to have weather like this uh, <laughs> yeah, right now it. when they're having your know, race at seven in the morning or seven at night because of 100 degree temperatures yeah. like just how much i mean obviously i know you're going to go out and give your best effort like regardless of the conditions but when it's like this like you know, how how mindful are you of like, hey, I can I can really be ambitious and aggressive and, and push it because it's only in the 60s. Yeah, well, I definitely always give it my all and my everything, but this was kind of like an extra reminder, like, okay, like today can be my day. I can go full effort and nothing, the weather isn't going to stop me. So I was very happy about it. For all, all, uh, all the uh, elite athletes, you know, especially your, your first couple races of the year, I always ask like, how much affirmation how much validation is this for like what the summer training has looked like you know to be able to you know because i mean obviously you can go out and look brilliant in every workout you know but it's a different you know it's a different mindset it's a, it's a different energy when the gun goes off like just uh, how, how significant how meaningful is this for you that you, you know i mean a lot of people in the north coast section including your friends you know uh on your team and and you know obviously in, in your league and in your division have been singing your praises, yeah. then we get to come out and, and see a performance like this. Like, how, how, how good does it feel that like all that, all that summer training and e even in early in the month of September is like, you know, is paying dividends right away? Yeah, very meaningful because at, me and my team have been training very hard this season with our coach during the summer and now just before the first few races. And my first race actually didn't really meet my expectations. And so I, Really, I wanted this, and so I was telling myself, like, this is my time to prove myself. And of course, it doesn't always go as planned, but I was really happy that it did. <laughs> and that's and that's specifically why, uh, why I asked, because you know, I, I didn't know. You know, you never know if you're not watching it with your own eyes, like yeah. if, if somebody is just deciding to go out in tempo, yeah. if that's kind of like coach's direction or whatever. But when I saw the time, I was like, For instance, uh, an athlete of your caliber, uh, a woman of your ambition. Yeah. It was like that probably didn't you know, that, that probably didn't uh, you know meet or uh, or you know or yeah, totally. you know, kind of uh, you know fulfill you. Yeah. Uh, there was a few things that I think just went wrong that race actually like a lot and sometimes that just happens. But and my coaches were telling me like it's first race it doesn't matter but it did kind of you pressure me because I'm kind of hard on myself sometimes. So were there, were there, were there kind of just uh, the the nerves and energy of just kind of getting the first one out of the way? I mean, did you did you, I mean you like I said you looked so within yourself you looked so calm. I mean, com competing this all race. the way, yeah. But I mean, like, uh, w w was it good just to you know for better or for worse just to kind of have that one done just to, uh, just totally. to kind of you know be at peace and kind of and like I said at the outset run within yourself today. Totally, I even feel like having that one first made me want this more and made me feel more. Yeah, because they're all precious, right? Yeah, uh, totally. I mean, uh, we're, pretty soon we're gonna uh, blink twice and be at Hayward for NCS and, totally. and then at the state meet, right? So, totally. uh, w I mean, in terms of just learning you know to, to trust your instincts to, you know to uh to trust the training yeah. like to trust that like hey i can be courageous and yeah. and, and you know and my body is is going to respond accordingly like d did you feel kind of more you know, more trusting in you know not only your ability but you know but obviously just you know what the training has looked like since the first race yeah totally i had more trust in myself and that's something that my coach Josiah, who just came over here has told me a lot this season he said you have to believe in yourself do not like what was going through my head the whole race he said he's like do not give up like you can't give up on yourself just keep going like you can handle pain and so that was just or discomfort rather yeah. and that was just playing through my head and i'm sure all of my teammates too so any last thing speaking of uh, your amazing teammates uh obviously 
you know, it's all about forging an identity, you know, uh, whether it's a young group that, uh, that is learning, whether it's a, a, a veteran group that, you know, obviously has the type of uh, goals and aspirations that Archie Williams does at NCS yeah. and, the, and, and the state meet. Whether it's leading by voice, whether it's leading by example, not just in, in races, but workouts, especially. Like, how do you feel like the identity of the group and, and kind of just the, the chemistry of the group is, is kind of evolving right now? This year, it's better than ever, better than my other years, um, probably. Or it's, every year's good, but we feel so bonded and so connected. There's a lot of like love in this group, and it all kind of just feels like we're just a bunch of best friends running together. Awesome. It's well, like she was running family. by herself for most of the race today, <laughs> but she certainly had all of her teammates in her heart and on her mind. Totally. Uh, Great performance by Archie Williams. Uh, awesome leadership uh, and front running by Ani Stieg. Uh, 16.44 and change here uh, in the first girls varsity race at the San Francisco Lowell Invitational at Golden Gate Park. Ani, stay healthy. Congratulations. Thank you so much.